Hey guys, so today I want to show you what happened to my account. My buying power is negative $671,914. Honestly, when I saw this, I, I froze up. My body stopped working. I thought I had lost everything for 10 seconds. It was really, really terrifying. But then I thought about the play that could have done that. And uh, it must have been my Amazon call debit spread. And I know that I did it correctly. There is no way that I am actually on the fence for this amount of money. And today I'm gonna to explain to you why it says that. There was a terrible story of somebody um, taking their own life because they saw this same number. And I want future traders to be careful before you trade options because if you don't know what you're doing, you see this, it is literally terrifying and I've experienced it. But let's walk through why I should be okay. And if I'm not okay, please don't tell me otherwise. Let me just live my dream. <laughs> okay, seriously, I, I, sh I should be fine. My Amazon spread still exists right here under stocks. And if I click into it, we can see that they're both pending. So I'll open it up. And what we see right here is I bought a call at the strike price of $3,360. And I sold a call at $3,365. What this means is I have the right to buy 100 shares of Amazon at this price because this option expired in the money. I obviously don't have $336,000 to buy this with, but that's also why I sold a call option at a strike price above it. This cancels out a majority of this call I sold. It gives me the option to sell 100 shares at $336,500. So again, to summarize, I could buy Amazon at this price and I could sell it at this price. So therefore, again, my profit is the difference between this and this $500 minus the cost of the spread, which is $235. So I should be making a $265 profit. And you can see here that the status is pending. Your assignment is pending confirmation. Your assignment is pending confirmation. And we should expect confirmation by Monday, which is way too long to be staring at such big numbers. But I digress. Let's go back to this buying power number. If I am just need to buy 336,000, why does this say that much money? It's such a huge amount of money. Now, the reason is in order to sell this amount of stock, I actually still need to buy this. So technically I need to buy a hundred stock at this price and I need to buy a hundred stock at this price. And that is how we roughly get this incredibly frightening number. Every time I see it, my heart drops. But yes, that is what's happening. That's why we're seeing these super large, scary numbers, but they should be closed out by Monday. Honestly, I don't think I'm ever going to let an option go to expiration, at least in the short term. This was very traumatic for me. I didn't know that that's what it would say, but in hindsight, it makes sense. It's not something that you should worry about. The question is, does Robinhood bear any responsibility? And I think technically it's no. But at the same time, Robinhood gives the ability for traders to trade very, very easily versus other brokerages that make you jump through a lot of hoops. And if you listen to my previous videos, I was kind of hating on my older brokerages for making it difficult to trade options. But as of today, I am so appreciative that they don't let anybody trade options because this is very, very dangerous. And I was very confident in what I was doing. But just seeing those numbers, once I knew that I hadn't done anything wrong, that this wasn't an accurate reflection of the state of my portfolio, I couldn't unfeel all that fear. So no matter what happens, just make sure you know exactly what you're doing. Don't play around with, with trades or techniques that you're, you're not sure of. Play smaller stocks. I would say take a month to learn the ins and outs. I definitely rushed a little bit and I kind of regret it. And I think I'm very lucky that nothing terrible has happened. And this is definitely a big wake up call because yeah, if I go destitute, uh, this YouTube channel might be the only thing I have left. So please consider liking and subscribing. I'm going to try to impart as much knowledge as I can. So nobody has to go through what I went through today. And also people are prepared for the worst and the best case scenarios. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.